Today is Saturday, February 3rd, 2024. Spot price right now is right around $22.65 at last check. So that means premiums are a bit lower than they have been. And so how long is this gonna last? How long will we enjoy these low premiums for physical silver? Well, I wanted to know this. So I went down and talked to my local coin store owner, Clay. He owns Main Street Coin here in Hyde Park. And I also wanted to know, are people buying more silver or are they selling their physical silver? And his answer to that may surprise you. Also, we got to talk about the last video that I posted. <laughs> so stick around. everyone <laughs> silver joker here okay so very briefly let's talk about the last video that i posted okay so a number of people who left comments on that video were not impressed at all in fact i got a few comments where people threatened to unsubscribe to the channel if i ever played another one of those type videos well all i can say is i'd hate to lose you i really do but i'm definitely going to post some more of those type videos i will only play them once a week every thursday which was my plan all along so if you like those type of videos, I'm gonna post one of those once a week, every Thursday, and we're gonna to continue to make videos like this one, where I go and talk to my local coin store owners, we talk to the people in the community, the things that you guys uh, have come to expect from my channel, those things are gonna still go on. For me, the information is more important than the presentation. Anyway, that's all I wanna say about that. All right, folks, so here we are again. Main Street Coin. Got my good friend John. He's here. Larry's off today, so John's uh, John's here. And then, of course, you guys know Clay. How are you doing, Clay? Hey, guys. And we are here to uh, buy some silver and so get, some, uh, get some valuable knowledge. Plenty of silver down there. Nice. Oh, yeah. I remember one of those bars right there. Those are the, the to the moon bars that um, that were put out when they did the uh, silver, silver squeeze. squeeze. Yeah, the silver squeeze. Yeah, yeah. the silver squeeze didn't yeah, last that, uh, that long. <laughs> the, the kind of you know came, you know came in kind of strong, but kind of went out mm -hmm. like a little little fart. If I can uh, <laughs> say that without getting in trouble. But anyway, uh, nice bar. I got a few of them myself. I actually did a review of this bar on my channel. You guys remember that. So Clay, how's business, my friend? It's busy. Busy. Yeah, yeah. So people are buying, selling? Uh, lots of buying now. Lots of buying yeah, now, I'd, right? I'd say it kicked in just after the first of the year. Right. So Prices are a little bit lower as far as spot price goes. Yeah. Uh, premiums, I guess, reflect premiums that are, a little bit. Premiums are under control, so. That's good. I don't know. You know, a lot of people are perplexed by the price action, but you know, the thing is, if you're a stacker, man, this is just one more good option. Oh, absolutely. To, this to silver's on sale as far as I'm concerned. This is good. Black Friday on a Saturday. <laughs> so we're going to buy some silver today. Um, what's been hot? Uh, does, is there a particular kind of silver that people have been uh, kind of flocking to or just, um, just bullion? I've sold more 2024 Silver Eagles probably than anything this month. But, really? You know, January, everybody wants the new. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't got my tube yet. I got a... I got the um, the proofs because you know I'm in the I'm in the uh, program where they just send me one every year, uh, yeah. but I haven't got the. Um, yep, they're pretty this year. Yeah, I haven't got the. Uh, they changed the. Uh, yeah, I see that. Banding up a little bit. Oh really? Yeah, they have, didn't they? Look at that. And they uh, they changed the um, mm -hmm. the um, clamshell too for the uh, proofs too. They went back oh, okay. to the the regular ones, which is good because they had them cheap boxes before. But yeah, they're, here they are. Yeah, I got, like I said, I got the proofs. There you go, people. And I'm sure many of the fans who watch this um, have got some of those. 
very liquid because everybody recognizes them. And right now they're economical because you think 18 months ago, the premiums on Eagles were crazy. Yeah, we we hit premiums of fourteen to fifteen to sixteen oh, yeah. dollars there for a hot minute. So. And the thing and the thing about that were people were buying them. They were still buying them they at were, that price. So, yeah. and I think so. it's only a matter of time before some big orders come through. Yeah, and we see premiums go up like that again. So, you well, know, once over Eagles, these are good times again. Absolutely, and there's a lot going on in the world. And if you know anything about the movement of silver, it's uh, considered a safe haven asset. People get a little nervous about uh, the uh, dollar and uh, their their income. Then they sort of flock to stuff that's a little more inflation proof. So, what have you been? Um, what have you been uh, selling the most of? You said just the eagles or kilo bars, ten ounce bars, a mix of gold, a lot of fractional gold. I think that people that buy fractional gold. Um, you know, they foresee us living in a world where gold six, seven, eight, twelve, fifteen thousand U.S. dollars someday, wow. whatever currency it's in. So they figure, you know. And what um, are, What are your thoughts on that? I think it's wise. Yeah, I yeah. think so I mean, too. I, you definitely want an allocation of ten thousand coins to your gold. Why not? That's yeah. good. That's that's good advice. And so you have them, of course. I see some down here, um, which is a good thing. All right, well, I'm going to peruse this a little bit, and then uh, we'll be back to talk this in a few minutes. While you're here, I'd like to ask you to do me a small favor. If you will, just scroll down to that thumbs up and hit that thumbs up. What that does, it lets YouTube know that you are receptive to the content that you're viewing. So YouTube puts this video where more people can see it. It's a small task for you, but it means so much to my channel. And when you've watched as much of this video as you like, and you think you want to see more, then go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell and YouTube will notify you as soon as I post another video, which is coming very shortly. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, John, so what are you doing there, my friend? What do you, what do you got going on? Uh, so this is a purchase that we made. It's some uh, privately minted sterling from the uh, Franklin Mint. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. So we just pull these out. You mind if I... Yeah, go ahead. Hang on. From the Franklin Mint, you know, they do like the signing of the Constitution and stuff like that. Um, just all different kinds of events that happen in American history and they try to commemorate them. Okay. So you're going to sell them as a set or are you going to... No, they'll probably, they'll probably get cut and yeah. sent off to some place that yeah. either is going to sell them or melt them down. Yeah. But the, but the silver value is there okay. solid. The silver's yeah. there, still there. Yeah. Those are pretty... Actually, those yeah, are pretty they're nice. Bad. They're yeah. not bad. They're proof, you know, proof yeah. bar, so... Yeah. Yeah, if it's your thing. So, of course, cool. Sterling is the 925.925, yep. so it's not quite um, the purification Pure, but, of uh, three nines, but they are they are very nice, yeah, man. Cool. They're beautiful. And they're, they're odd weights. Um, every one of them's a little got a little bit of a different variation to them. Oh, and that so. just adds a little bit to the uh, mm -hmm. to the to the uh, allure, I would say. Yeah. People kind of enjoy those odd weight bars. Sure. Well, if somebody came in and they wanted the, the entire collection, would you do that, or are these already allocated to go somewhere? Yeah, they're, these are already allocated okay, to go somewhere. Okay, yeah. They are pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So a person just brought these in, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, I believe. Well, let me put them back in order there no, for you. No, that's no worries. <laughs> John, I appreciate that. Those are nice. Yeah, and they came in this uh, big nice old, little big old binder. folder there. Mm -hmm. So somebody bought that, and uh, of course it kept the value, and yeah, they brought think, them I in. Think, and yeah, I think what happens, I think they send you uh, an envelope with the bar, yeah. and you piece by piece put it together until right. you finish it up. Yeah. I think you said that's the, the Franklin, Franklin Mint, I yeah. believe. Yeah, I don't see that on there. But yeah, the Franklin Mint does a lot of yeah, stuff I know like that. Franklin does a lot of this. Yeah. Bar has an event in American history, so yeah, they're really man. good for teaching history. Right, there you like go. That. That's so. another good positive thing. Yeah. All right, thanks. Yeah. All right, Clay, so this affordable trend you, that's kind of here right now with the premiums being what they are, how long do you suspect this will last? Um, you want just, me to speculate? Don't yeah, just suspect. Just a speculation. Yeah, just, uh, I mean, I, I don't see your crystal ball out here today, I think so I think you'll have to. Month? <laughs> about another month. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I, I think if you're planning on waiting till summer or fall before their big crazy election or whatever to get silver, you're going to be disappointed. Okay. I, I see a price spike coming this year. Okay. I don't know if it's going to happen this spring or this summer or as we move closer to things, but it's coming, I think. Okay. That's, that's my opinion. So. That's good. I like that opinion. I mean, you do this for a living, so uh, it's a best guest. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't, I don't think you are. Yeah, you are, Don. Oh, am I? <laughs> <laughs>
So if you want financial advice, I would say seek somebody that's got those credentials. Uh, I'm just giving you my opinion, and I believe the same thing with my friend Clay here is giving you his opinion. But, um, you know, I think it's, it's good sound advice. If you're going to stack physical silver with the price where it is now, I think now is the time if you're going to do that. And of course, you guys know. Cheap insurance policy, absolutely. All righty. Thank you, Clay. Appreciate your time, my friend. And, John, thank you. You guys have a nice day, and uh, we'll be back to talk to you guys again soon. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Well, there you have it. Um, that's Clay's prediction on how long he thinks these great prices are going to last. These low premiums for physical silver are going to last. I tend to agree with him. But still, silver prices, I believe, are going to be in this range. I don't have a crystal ball. Nobody I know have a crystal ball. It's really just a best guess based on our experiences stacking silver over the years. So what you've been seeing here are these silver bars and a few silver rounds that I bought out of the generic bin. These are some really nice bars as far as I'm concerned. They got this raised image on there of some of the past presidents. I think they'll go well in my stack. Where I have them stored, they stack a lot better inside of these air tights. And so that's why I put them in that, not to protect them at all or keep them from toning as some people say. But anyway, this is what I bought. And so, you know, we're just gonna keep the silver train rolling. More good content coming up. And like I said, if you wanna see those storyboard type videos, they're gonna be one posted every Thursday. And uh, if you like content like this, there'll be a video like this posted once a week. And so I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.